The Flash issue 754 heads to the 25th century Central City, where the rogues and the city have been decimated by Reverse Flash and Paradox's battle. Eobard, however, manages to beat the villain, becoming the future saviour, and for once, the people didn't see him as a villain, but a worthy successor to the Flash. After repairing the city in an instant, he built a prison for Paradox, keeping his temporal powers at bay and the time stream safe. That is, until the Flash ruined everything. Eobard tells Flash that reality can't take much more of Paradox's abuse, but the hero hopes that the villain can stop him, but Eobard knows that it is a Reverse Flash fact that he can. Barry never thought that he would be running with a Reverse Flash at his side, especially after everything he took not only from him, but from others like Hunter Zolomon, whose life was apparently ruined by Eobard turning him into a monster. Barry knows that he can investigate Hunter's claims later, since right now they have arrived at the destroyed 25th century. Heading into the Flash Museum, Eobard says that he built a secret passageway just for them to use. Eobard, however, is unhappy at how Paradox has treated his museum, as Flash knows that this is the Eobard who doesn't know about what he does to Hunter, the Flashpoint, the Lost Time, the Button, or that Iris kills him. Barry knows that he needs to make sure Eobard doesn't learn that stuff as the villain reveals his lightning rod, the device he used to stop Paradox the last time. Barry knows all about the rod, since Eobard has tried to kill Iris with it. Eobard proudly explains explains how it harnesses the speed force into a destructive force, and it was used to ground Paradox and sap his energy away and make him weak enough to be captured, something that they will be doing again. Eobard asks Barry, however, if he's ready to do what needs to be done, as Paradox continues killing the Flashes of the multiverse, proclaiming that Flash's life and victories are no more, and each kill gives him more power. But it's never enough, since the Flash is still loved, despite him undoing all his greatest achievements. August says, that that's because Paradox's gut is telling him that Flash will win, and he does, no matter what. Paradox wonders if the villain is right, since death is part of Flash's legacy, and it not only gives him power, but also Flash. Soon he feels Flash moving through the time stream, knowing he's not alone, so he tells Godspeed to return them back to simpler times. Back in the past, Flash and Reverse Flash arrive at the time before Paradox became the monster they know, and Eobard points out the nearby family's father, Chris, is to become the monster. Barry asks why they are there, and Eobard tells him not to bother with rhetorical questions like that, since obviously they are there to kill him. Barry refuses to, but Eobard tells him that if they want to save reality, then he needs to do what needs to be done, and remove Paradox from his role before he can get started. Eobard claims that it will be their little secret, and something that they will both share, but Barry says that he will find another way. Eobard tires of this, saying that he would do it himself, rushing away from Barry, as the hero races after him, stopping Eobard and attacking him, saying that he never should have brought Eobard there. Eobard reveals, however, that he knows about his various deaths, and he wanted to see how far Barry was willing to protect his legacy. Barry says that he would never kill, but Reverse Flash says he killed him, so he wonders if his life is worth less than Chris's. The man asks what they want from him, as suddenly Paradox arrives, grabbing his human self and killing him, saying that he thought Flash would create the power he needed, but thank Thanks to the hero leading him back here, he's found the biggest paradox of them all, himself. Reverse Flash rushes the villain with the lightning rod, saying it doesn't matter what he does, since he took him down once and he would do it again. The powered up villain easily grabs Eobard, taking the rod and snapping it in half, telling the villain that back then he was new to his powers and didn't understand them, but now he has all the power he needs. The energy from the rod explodes outwards as Barry asks what paradox has done. The villain says that he has witnessed how Flash's legacy carries on in people who love him, which is why despite his greatest moments being destroyed, people still love the Flash. The villain knows the only solution to this is to kill everyone who loves the Flash, unleashing all his built up crisis energy and destroying all of reality and the time stream. The villain is made even more powerful now thanks to this, and Reverse Flash tells Barry that they have literally run out of time, and if they don't kill Paradox now, then this will be the end of everything. The Flash issue 754 was the damn fine penultimate issue of the Paradox story and really set the bar high in terms of stakes now that reality has literally been destroyed. I enjoyed Flash and Reverse Flash's bickering and that Eobard is completely aware of Barry lying to him and keeping his various deaths and other things like Flashpoint away from him, which is something that has driven the villain to resent the hero even more now. So again, it's Barry kind of creating his own villains and being his own worst enemy. The book, however, seems to suffer from 
from the current climate as some of the either colouring or lettering was done wrong on a few panels, which ironically means that Eobard and Barry's dialogue is reversed, uh, which will no doubt lead to some confusion. I know I was particularly confused until I realised that they had reversed the dialogue for some reason. Other than that, it was a damn fine issue and I cannot wait to see what happens next. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.